<clears throat> all right, Shalom, all my kiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakodash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who are the true elders and apostles of our all Israel. All right, this is Brother Yahweh Sap with another basic lesson, um, or another quick lesson, I mean, Salakia. So and pretty much today, man, we're just going to be going into, um, going through the spirit, first and foremost, but also going into uh, how, man, we're, we're about to be glorified, man. The Lord is about to raise us up out of this hellhole that we've been made that we've been put in for punishment all right and give us glory and dominion and peace forevermore all right because right now we're, we're in hell man all right which the word hell means affliction or grave all right but right now we're 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 uh we're in hell we're in affliction man and you can feel it if you part of this truth and you and you are um following after Yahweh and the, and his uh words oh excuse me you know that we we are right now we're being afflicted and this is a daily thing man whether you're going to work whether you're dealing with a woman a child you know whether you're dealing with a loss of job a loss of a house a loss of a car you know no matter what you're going through on a day-to-day -day basis even for regular jakes who don't even follow the follow this ministry all right they're going through affliction man that's why they smoke they they take drugs they drink on a daily basis man all right, they do anything to ease the pain of, of what they're going through, man. It's a trend now to be depressed, all right? And for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, according to the Bible, the Lord is about to raise us up out of here, man. But moreover, the elect of our nation, all right, and two-thirds of two -thirds of our people are going to be cut off and die, but they're going to come back to the elect seed and in righteousness, okay? And it's going to be a beautiful thing uh, whenever that happens because we're no longer going to feel any type of of of, uh, of affliction ever again all right so with that being said man i want to go ahead and get this started this is uh romans 8 and verse 18 and it reads for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us for the earnest ex uh, expectation of the creature waiteth for the man manifestation of the sons of yahweh that's right so every everything on this planet earth is waiting for the manifestation of you israelites all right you of you of yasharala man all right, because once we come, all right, it, there's going to be peace upon the earth. All right, once we return, all right, everything is going to come back to life. Once we're put back on top where we're supposed to be in righteousness, all right, everything is going to come back to life. All right, because right now we're under a man who who his whole thing who was blessed with a sword and all his all the only gift he has is uh is to be able to destroy. Okay. So verse 20, and it says, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. That's right. So this was all, we were made, This uh, these bodies and these other, these uh, everything that we live now is in, it's vain, man. All right? It has, it has, um, it's pretty much empty. All right? But by reason of him, but who hath subjected the same in hope. That's right. So we're made of, we're made, pretty much made of this for a story, man. All right, for Yahweh's story, and it's and um, going through it, yeah, it's like, man, you know, when is this gonna end? You know, when am I gonna when am I gonna stop having to pay bills? You know, when is when am I gonna have to stop worrying about my woman fighting with me? When am I gonna have to stop worrying about losing a car, losing a house, losing a job? When am I gonna have to stop worrying about having to survive and actually live? You know, and that's where our hope comes in through Yahweh about your mouth shy, man. All right, we're 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 waiting for the manifestation of the Israelites, man. All right, so verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. That's right. So after we are raised back up and put back on top of the pedestal, all right, everything is going to be free. Matter of fact, if I can, um, this is going to be out of the book of Isaiah chapter 14. Actually, I think it's a uh, con. This is uh, Isaiah 14, and I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 5. It says, Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, that he that ruled the nations with anger, and anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. All right, that's right. So the man who is causing all this uh, death and anguish to come upon the planet Earth is, is done away with now. All right, so verse 7, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. 
They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee at, to meet to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from the, the from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Stock, yeah. One more second. That's up there in my mouth. All right, but um, but con. So with that being said, I'm in my car. So I try to hear the door opening and shutting. Uh, but I'm in, uh, but pretty much, man. When once once this man, this violent man, is taken down, the whole earth, the whole earth is gonna be at rest. All right, because we know that once the wicked is put away and the righteous are raised up, the whole earth is gonna rejoice. All right, and it's gonna be beautiful, man. All right, it's gonna be glorious that the Lord have has uh has given that unto us. All right, so from there, kind of sticking with the basics today, man. This is gonna be the book of Proverbs chapter twenty nine and verse two, and it reads, "When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice; but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn." That's right. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right. And when the wicked bear throw the people mourn and that's what's happening, man. Right now we're constantly we're going through daily battles, all right, constantly being being afflicted. All right. But whenever but whenever Yahweh Shah raises us back up again, all right, the whole earth is going to be at rest. All right. Everyone is going to be everything is going to be at peace. All right. Of course, after the thousand years of hard, hardcore bondage for the heathen nations. All right. We know. That we're finally going to be at peace. We're going to be at rest. All right. The Lord is going to give us an everlasting salvation. All right. And I had another precept. I believe is in the book of Revelation. I forget the chapter. I believe it's 19. One second. Still, I can still find it in one second. This is in chapter 20. One second, I can All right, Khan, I was um, a little, I was off. Um, but Khan, this is Revelation 7. And I'm going to start at verse... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start at verse uh, 13, and it reads, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That's right, these are the elect that were serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh to the best of their ability before the coming of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shah. And it says, verse 15, Therefore are they before the throne of Yahweh, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. All right, so Yahweh uh, Shai is going to be um, dwelling among, among us. All right, so it says, verse 16, They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. That's right, so whenever, whenever uh, it says that, they shall hunger no more, neither thirst anymore, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat, meaning we're not going to be going through any more affliction, man. The Lord is going to take all that away from us. All right, it says, verse 17, for the lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters, and Yahweh shall uh, wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's right, the Lord He's going to be with us and give us an everlasting salvation, all right? And uh, and he's going to cause us to be able to not see any more uh, affliction, all right? And that's something that has been promised unto us since the, since the beginning, all right? This is something that's been prophesied since the beginning, all right? So Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to bless us with this co this new covenant, all right, to where we're not going to have to worry about anything anymore, man. And that's something to really look forward to, man. All right, because right now, once again, as I stated beforehand, we're constantly stressing about things, man. Speaking of myself, first and foremost, we have to remember, all right, to lean upon Yahweh Bashim Al Shai and know that He will handle any situation we go through, as long as we continue to serve Him to the best of our ability. All right, as long as we continue to have faith and know that He is here um, to help, man. All right, 
because what it would right now is a time of mercy and grace to so where even if we do go off, even if we are going through hell, we have an advocate, which is Yahweh Shai. That way we can pray unto him, pray unto, Yah pray unto Yahweh. Yahweh Shai will send our prayer to, to Yahweh and the angels will send our prayers to Yahweh. All right. And, uh, and Yahweh Shai will plead our cause. All right. So that's something comforting that we have within this world that we were made to serve in. All right. This is something that is coming unto us. All right. So real quick, Revelation 19 and verse 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, uh, Hallelujah, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Yahweh our power. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged a great whore, which is America, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And it reads, and again, they said, Hallelujah, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped Yahweh that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our power, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And that, and I heard as, as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord Yahweh omnipotent reigneth. That's right. So the Lord, all right, is going to bring um, bring us unto salvation and reign over the whole earth and give that power unto his son, Yahweh Shai, who is going to share it with us. All right. So verse seven, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath made herself ready, which his wife is who? The elect. All right. They made themselves ready by doing what? By prophesying, by doing, by following the commandments, all right, by cleansing their robes in the blood of the lamb. I right, wish their robes are, are uh, their souls, their spirits, all right, making them white, making them pure in the blood of the Lamb. All right. All right. So verse eight. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white for the fine linen. Linen is the righteousness of saints. That's right. So we're going to be clothed in white. All right. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be the righteousness of, our, of saints pertaining to uh, Hebrews eight. We're going to obtain that new covenant, 1 Corinthians 15. All right, we're going to get those new bodies and we're never going to go off again. All right. So it's going to be a beautiful thing once this happens because we're no longer going to have any affliction upon us. All right. So with that being said, man, um, the rest of this you can read on your own, man. Um, Lord's will, this lesson was edifying. And I pray it lifts up your brothers and your sisters' spirits. All right. Who fervently believe on this truth and truth and, the truth and sincerity. All right. And uh, once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. All right. Double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. All right. Until the next time I say, Shalom.